hi guys welcome back to my channel it's super great having you guys here today so today guys basically um we are in the part um th three series of um what i will do is basically if i was starting back over or reading and line and the steps that i basically take and how i do it so um in this series we're basically going to talk about after we are able to start earning and we're able to read our threshold in the money making apps then we want to take over out our money to um basically the app or the the investment um, platform that we're gonna go ahead and start growing our money to meet our full potential so that's what i want to talk to you guys about with a little mindset too so let's get straight into the video so before I go into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also, give me that thumbs up if you find my content valuable. So first thing um, I want to say, guys, is um, there are different um, strategies to um, growing your money after you have taken it out. So you have a strategy of taking it out in full in like um like there are different strategies like there are the the low risk and then there are the high risk so i basically do a barrage of all of them so um i'm gonna explain them to you so um so first we're gonna start with our um our low risk right so let's say you have a bunch of apps. I share with you guys some links in the second series um, about some of the apps that I use. So um, now we take out our money. Let's say I take out some PayPal money and I have about uh, $20 or $50 or $100 in PayPal money, right? I'll go ahead and put that in my account, right? Whichever account I have, I'll do. For me, I have the Scotiabank account account right here i'm showing it to you after so so scotia bank account is like a regular bank account right so what i do do for my low risk i will transfer it over to my high interest saving account and the high interest saving account that i use is the dq bank as you can see on my phone right here so uh yes guys i'm not gonna go into those app today because i don't want to make the video a little, a little too long i just want to um share with you guys um, um very quickly what is the next process is and then i'm gonna do um other videos and and these um platforms um single by single so yeah so i'll uh, put the money that i have in the um i interest saving account and what this does mean does give you basically a a rate or a percentage on your money um that is basically more guaranteed so it's less risk so you're basically not losing uh your money you're basically gaining on your money even though sometimes you're not gaining much but you're gaining on your money it's like it's not going up and down up and down like the stock market or like uh, cryptocurrency is just going up and down it's just going up rather right you just you have a guarantee amount that you will earn on your money that's the first thing so i put that in my low risk now my medium risk is basically stocks so where i buy my stocks i buy my stocks at um um so quest trade um and well simple trade those are the two platforms that i use to buy my stocks quest trade and well simple trade so what i do i bought dividend paying stocks so dividend paying stocks are basically um stocks where once you own a couple shares in those companies they will after um the company go ahead and makes money maybe for the month or for the quarterly or semi-quarterly they will basically pay back out some to their shareholders so yes so that is my medium uh risk now my uh high risk is basically trading so there are two types of trading there's spot trading and they are um futures trading so with the spot trading i invest in coinbase um newton um Nuxto, crypto um crypto.com 
um, sweat kind. Uh, so these are the platform and also well simple trade. I do have um, some cryptocurrency in well simple trade also. So yes, guys. So that is for my spot trade. That, that, that's where I basically um, put my spots all in. And what the spot all in and cryptocurrency is, is basically you buying that asset and owning it. So um, when you purchase, like say, let's say I have $100 and I buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. I own that $100 worth of Bitcoin, whether it goes up or the market goes down. So that's basically um it. So yes, with the futures now, um I use um the platform. I'm gonna share it with you also. I use this platform two platform I basically use. So I use one, I use both of them for cryptocurrency and also stocks. So the one that I use for cryptocurrency is um kind w. As you can see right here, I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to go in depth into it. I'm just going to show you um, how it, the platform, the sign up platform looks. So I will go ahead and create, create um, futures on um, kind W. So um, yes, guys, and what future futures trading is, is basically just um, trading and the market going up or going down. So basically, let's say. Um, Bitcoin is at thirty thousand dollars, and your your the chart um the chart shows that there will be a little a pullback or a shoot up. Then you will go ahead and place your trade and those um speculations. So uh yes, guys, that's basically the futures, and um I will go in depth into um these platform to show you guys. So yeah. And the next one I use is um Prime XBT. So with the Prime XBT, you can um trade um forex, um cryptocurrency and commodities. So that's basically um it. So like crude oil and nat gas and net gas um natural gas. I go ahead and do do those futures um on um Prime XBT. So guys because of this i have able to grow my um because of this guys i'm able to grow my account so you guys will see that in um other videos so yes guys so basically guys that's how i do it so yeah so the thing is with this strategy guys i always start small in all of my um um platform when i where i invest or where i um just trade i start small and the reason why is not like um i intended to start small it's just like the way how i um, accumulate my earnings so it gave me opportunity to start small and i think that was the, the a good decision for me because i've learned to watch the market and see how it moves and just to have the patient to not go all in or all of that so uh yes guys and just to have the mindset that um it's not how it's have to be um if i have a thousand dollars then i can start invest or if i have um a ten thousand dollars then i can start invest this opportunity here is basically if you have a dollar you can start trading you can start investing and basically that's how i do it guys so yes so that's just it so right now i am moving from i am moving up from um stage one to stage um two of trading so basically straight stage one i in my opinion of trading is basically just buying and selling stage two is basically where and this is buying and selling while making profit guys this is not like buying and selling and you're not making profit buying and selling while making profit i feel is stage one and i think stage two is just that learning charts and just not only buying when the market goes down be able to scalp and just um I'm not really a scalper but um most of the time like I'm not really a scalp a scalp trader 
but it's like I can understand it. Yes, yeah, so other things that I understand. So I understand the candlestick. I understand the pattern of certain things. Certain like, you know, like in different, different key areas, there is a language. Like there, there's a language in marketing. There's a language in mathematics. So in trading, there's a language. And the more the more you, you know the language or you can speak the language, is the better for you so that's what the this stage that i'm going into so yes guys and i'm actually going to share that stage i'm um, with you and that's going to show, show you guys how i did it and everything guys this is basically the end of the video i hope you guys like it i hope you guys learn if not comment down below guys let me know i can easily well um explain it more for you guys um yeah so I will be going in depth in all of my money making apps, the the investment part of it, to share with you guys um how I trade and how I do futures and all of that. Guys, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing it to you with you guys how I personally do it, and I hope you guys find value in it. So, guys, before I go, I just want to say always remember, guys, never forget. Keep smiling and keep shining. Bye, guys.